All right, welcome guys to a, a new episode, a new series that we're doing on the BBC channel known as the Vain Glorious Beasties, where we play games and then review them afterwards. This is just a game me and uh, Crabs here played, and uh, as you can see, I'm going lane and he's supporting me, and um, where's my support? That's, all, that's a common thing I always say, and they get pissed at me for saying that. But where's right my support? Now, right now we're going up against another saw which um, we kind of wreck at the beginning. Like, as you can see right now, he's walking away. He's not even trying. Where's and my support? We should make t-shirts, man. Yeah, t-shirts. But anyways, here comes an alpha. But right now, look, look. Just, if this, is, this is just like me, barely learning how to play Saw, going up against somebody else that probably knows how to play Saw. Was this a ranked? I think we did a ranked, or did we not do a ranked? No, it's a casual. As you can see there, the alpha just got wrecked. Yeah, and, and I could I could have killed that saw, but I didn't want to risk turret diving for him. As you can see, he's like at a bar of hell. Like yeah, I could go with my knife, but I didn't really I really didn't want to, and I didn't have the ability at the time. There's another problem with this um with the enemy team. They have no support. So where's their support? <laughs> they don't. I thought I would think the alpha would go support, but they don't go in no, weapon. but. Yeah, because Alpha's not a really supporting character. Um, her abilities don't really give support, unlike, say, a Finn or an Adagio. I was also surprised that the Alpha was going weapon. Most people, like, um, Crystal build is pretty good. Well, there's a, some Alpha builds that are weapon. Though I agree, I like to do a kind of suicide bomber build, which is get close to them and blow up. Yeah. Right now, you are getting melted. And then glorious Paco 652 comes in to save the day. I hate you. I think I die here now. I I constantly get throughout this game. I but really yeah, this is that. a smart move. Instead of like trying to get greedy and hit him with the dagger, you don't want to do that because then you just end up have dying to his gun. But yeah. I also was playing defensively for most of this round because I really didn't want to get um, give them kills. And um, this whole time, I, you see I could run in with my knife and then uh, deal some damage, but I, I'd like get too close to turret and it would shoot and kill me. Yeah. Playing it safe is actually a good thing. Yeah, but another uh, something I did dumb in this game was I, I didn't go to the store that much. As you can see, I still have my um, my tier one barbed needle. I know how, I don't know what you call it, but it's the a book, book of, of eulogies. I still have my book of eulogies, and it's only it's like uh, three minutes in the game. By now, I should have gone home like the other saw. But then again, I'm, I'm constantly just hitting that turret, and um, I just, I just, I think I kill it right here, and that that gives us all 300 coins, so it makes up for me not going home. But this just happens throughout the game where the black feather just comes up, and I I'm powerless to defend because he's jungling, so he has a better build. Yeah. So if you had energy in that situation, the I could pop my knife. The obvious play is to like just reposition yourself by just hitting him and then running away. If I had energy, I could have popped my knife, and I, you know, I would have killed him and barely survived with a bar of health, but... So this is an important move. Like, you don't want to rush in. Like, yeah, you, they're pushing lane, but at the same time, you don't want to die. Yeah, because going up against, like, um, just going in guns blazing against this, a saw that has spin-up is a really dumb idea because of the lifesteal. One uh, uh, saw's lifesteal, you're not going to take much of his health, and uh, he's dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, so you're not really going to much to him and that's another thing and like in this notice I killed the saw instead of the alpha like you prioritize whoever's weaker and also we just see like this whole match I do not I wasn't able to buy atlas launcher because I was getting poor too often so what you do is wait for hit that's where I pop up. oh my god I'm I, yeah, I, we played this game a little, a little while ago and that moment just makes me rage if I would have popped my B right at the alpha the alpha would have been dead in that situation and it just makes me mad that I misclicked. Some awesome music uh, from other peoples. I gotta put my phone on silent, guys, but right here you see that I could have killed that saw. I could have killed that saw. Yeah, and that's me also messing up, not hitting the saw, but. Yeah, but I, we, there were three of them were there. We were getting 3v2'd, and in that situation, um, the best I could have done was take somebody out with me, but I choked right there and uh, didn't. But you know what, this is a good thing now Now that I have a found, I can able to sustain them. The first few items for Rome nowadays, after the Iron Gun contract, um, weird contract 
update nerf buff thing is go fountain, crucible, then war treads. That's my like trinity build for all um, realms. And then afterwards, if they're going weapon speed, build intelligent people. Especially if they're melee, because like against a crawl, I see some people build metal dragon instead of Alphaldrin, and that just it protects against weapon, but it doesn't really slow down the crawl's attack speed. Yeah. Like there's many moments where I play crawl, and it's just I get slowed and it, it i get in 3v1 they, they slow me down and i can't kill all three of them before i die and i get cocky a lot like i think there's a moment where i die here and um it's because i was cocky and you can no this is the moment i save you with a fountain but who else yeah i destroyed her you see the black feathers here the black feather right now is like my main enemy because he's the one that he's the only one dealing okay i like what this black feather do, did though um, he ran into your second by using his ult. That's a yeah. good move because it blocks all damage. Here you can see I, I shouldn't have popped my ult, but I didn't have any other thing to do, and I thought I could deal enough damage with my ult. Yeah, but that black feather out. was a good play. So here's what happens. You wait in the bush enough. He's clearing minions, yes. He's pushing lane, but this this is the moment. He, you wait, you, you wait. drop him down and then hit him because right now he can't use his second. He already wasted it, so you just hit him. And now you're making him have to back up, and this is where I get a little greedy trying to rush him down. Yeah. But at the same time, you're pushing him away from me that's coming up and clearing those minions, so it's easier yeah. for me to clear them and um, push lane a little bit more. And I come in, uh, I come in here and um, kind of just for support you a little bit, but. I think you died in this Yeah, and this is no, this is a good situation because I was able to use my perk, which is oh whenever I'm my a god. Kill ally. If everybody saw that, a bar of health, and I'm just yelling at crabs here to go kill him, go kill him, go kill him. He has a bar of health. And, and I, yeah. It was just That's I, an important I really, thing. This is why you buy flares, people. People like sometimes say, Oh, I'm just gonna go all flares. No, you don't do that, but at the same time flares give you, you an immense flares. amount of vision. It's amazing the vision it gives you. Cause there's a lot of moments, like if you're going up against, against a Kestrel or a Taka, always buy flares, like buy contraption if you need, because if, if they disappear, you just pop one right over yourself and you see if they're coming in to attack you or not. Especially since there's a new hero on the flipping bolt that makes everyone invisible. Flicker. Flares, you can you can use them to see where they are in Flicker's ult. And, this uh, is why I plan Flicker until he's nerfed to Bolivia. Yeah, because you don't even need to be near him to pop his ult. Like, I was... I was playing with um, another player, and they were going flicker. They were across map, they popped their ult, and I turned invisible. That's really OP and should get nerfed. It's probably not, though, because it's uh, it's the people playing uh, flicker are going to be like, no, that's a really good thing. Well, of course they're, they're playing flicker. But anyways, yeah. So this was the moment, like, whenever you see him getting your... You don't want to waste a fountain when they're not attacking or not in a fight. You want to waste it while they're in a fight. Because it gives them that shock of like, oh, he's healing. Um, and it's just an instant reaction of, you're, you're here's just a like, mountain. run, run. Here's a fountain, but at the same time, you're dead. Yeah, this is where I die in the jungle alone. We need to zoom in to see of his death. He made it pretty far, and he, and he uh, cut, cleared away for me to escape. Yeah, if not, we would have both died. And the beautiful mind. Oh, only one mind triggered. I thought two it did. But I was able to buy Crucible, yay. And this is where they don't get an ace, but killed two. The Black Brother is in this batch of carry, let's face it. Yeah. I mean, he's a really good player. He's understanding how to play. And if you look at the other uh, the, if you look at the other Saw's uh, build, you can see that he wasted money on Halcyon charges and a reflex block. Yeah. I just mainly focused on getting my Serpent's Mask, my Sorrow Blade, and I was uh, going for Tyrant's Monocle to get the critical damage in. Those are the um, three um, things you can get. Something else you can get is like a um, breaking point to get the stack damage in there, but you don't really have to go for that. All you need is um, Serpent's Mask and Sorrow Blade. Yeah, another thing is just Look at the alpha, it's not literally doing all right, anything. Here, here you see the final push. Like, they're all in the jungle, like near Kraken. And I'm just like, I'm going for it, man. I'm going for it. And I just take out both turrets, take out the crystal, while they're all like uh, fiddling, out, fiddling around with the Kraken. And yep. it was a really clutch moment right there because I just cleared base. GG. And crystal dead. 
And this is the first episode of this. We'll be starting doing this more and more often with the new popular game, well, Vainglory. This has been the Vainglory Beast.